For over 34 years, the Hubble Space Telescope has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. While it was initially designed to peer into the deep cosmos, unraveling the mysteries of distant galaxies and nebulae, Hubble has also turned its gaze much closer to home, our own solar system. Despite not being originally intended to observe nearby celestial objects, it has captured extraordinary moments that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. Since not every planet has a dedicated mission, Hubble's ability to observe a wide range of solar system objects has been invaluable. Let's embark on a journey through our cosmic neighborhood, uncovering remarkable objects revealed by Hubble's keen eye. Hubble cannot capture the entire moon's surface in one image due to its large apparent size in our sky. Other missions, such as NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, provide far better imagery making the moon a less frequent subject for Hubble. However, in 2012, Hubble played a surprising role in studying Venus's atmosphere using the moon as a giant mirror. During Venus's transit across the sun, scientists measured subtle variations in light scattering through Venus's thick atmosphere, a technique that Hubble frequently uses to study exoplanets. This experiment validated the accuracy of this method proving its effectiveness for analyzing the atmospheres of distant worlds. Unlike the Moon, Hubble can observe Mars in its entirety, providing a full planetary perspective that orbiting spacecraft cannot always achieve. These observations are critical for tracking dust storms, seasonal changes, and other atmospheric phenomena. Such insights help scientists plan rover missions and predict Martian weather more accurately. One time-lapse image sequence from Hubble captured a massive global dust storm engulfing Mars, obscuring its surface features. In another sequence, the rapid movement of Mars moons Phobos and Deimos was observed. Phobos, in particular, completes an orbit around Mars in just 7.5 hours, making it the only known moon in the solar system to orbit faster than its planet's rotation. As we move beyond Mars, we enter the asteroid belt, a chaotic region filled with millions of celestial bodies. Among them is an unusual asteroid, 64,478 GT, which appears to have comet-like twin tails. Hubble's observations in 2019 revealed that this phenomenon results from a process known as the YORP effect. This occurs when solar radiation gradually increases the asteroid's spin rate until its weak gravity can no longer hold on to loose material, which then escapes into space, forming a tail-like structure. Over time, GT will likely disintegrate entirely. Another fascinating discovery in the asteroid belt came in the form of P-2010A2. Initially mistaken for a comet, a closer look revealed an extraordinary event an asteroid collision. Hubble captured an X-shaped debris pattern from the impact, with rubble being ejected in four directions. Some material remained gravitationally bound, while other fragments formed a tail, drifting away into space. This rare observation provided crucial insights into asteroid dynamics and the violent history of our solar system. Thirty-four years under that kind of stress takes its toll. Just earlier this week, June 4th, NASA announced one of the Hubble Space Telescope's three remaining gyroscopes, which help scientists make sure the craft is pointing in the correct direction, has failed. The observatory will now shift into one gyroscope mode, keeping the other still working gyro in reserve so there's a backup option to turn to when the time comes. This plan is expected to keep Hubble alive until the mid-2030s. But what would happen after that? Well, perhaps the end of Hubble, perhaps not. The thing is, Hubble's orbit is very slowly getting lower and lower as time goes by, because of our planet's atmospheric drag. It's also just generally getting old and with age comes some weariness. This presents two paths for Hubble's future. On one hand, scientists can tap into the observatory's steady descent and perform a controlled re-entry upon which most, but not all, of the spacecraft will burn up in Earth's atmosphere. 
Jupiter, often referred to as the solar system's vacuum cleaner, plays a crucial role in shaping the fate of nearby objects due to its immense gravitational pull. In 1994, Hubble documented one of the most spectacular planetary impacts ever observed, the collision of Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 with Jupiter. The comet had been captured by Jupiter's gravity decades earlier, but as its orbit decayed, it was torn apart into multiple fragments. These fragments slammed into Jupiter at speeds of 60 kilometers per second, generating fireballs hotter than 23,000 degrees Celsius and leaving Earth-sized scars in the planet's atmosphere. The immense energy released in this event was equivalent to 6 million megatons of TNT, reinforcing the idea that Jupiter acts as a protective shield, deflecting or absorbing potential threats to the inner planets. Beyond its protective role, Jupiter is home to some of the most mesmerizing auroras in the solar system. Unlike Earth's auroras, which are driven by solar activity, Jupiter's auroras are continuous and powered by its intense magnetic field and radiation belts. In 2016, as NASA's Juno spacecraft approached Jupiter, Hubble collaborated in a groundbreaking study of these auroras revealing that alternating currents within Jupiter's magnetic field generate their intense brightness. Europa, a potential haven for life. Among Jupiter's many moons, Europa stands out as a prime candidate for extraterrestrial life. Hubble has captured impressive images of this icy world, even from vast distances. Europa's surface is covered in a thick ice shell, beneath which lies a global ocean of liquid water, kept warm by tidal flexing caused by Jupiter's gravity. Hubble has played a surprising role in confirming this subsurface ocean, detecting plumes of water vapor erupting from Europa's surface. These plumes suggest that sampling Europa's ocean may be possible without the need for deep drilling, a promising prospect for future missions searching for life beyond Earth. Hubble has been in space for over 34 years, and its mission has been an incredible success. Although it wasn't originally designed to observe objects within our solar system, it has managed to do so throughout its journey, capturing extraordinary moments that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. Not every planet has a dedicated mission, and there's much more to see in our solar system beyond just the planets. Let's embark on a journey through our cosmic neighborhood, venturing from Earth to the farthest reaches of the solar system, exploring remarkable objects you might never have heard of as revealed by Hubble's keen eye. We'll begin our grand tour close to home with our immediate neighbor, the Moon. Due to the Moon's large apparent size in our sky, Hubble cannot capture its entire surface in a single image. Moreover, other missions, such as NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, provide far better images of the Moon, thus Hubble's time is better utilized elsewhere. However, in 2012, Hubble captured an intriguing image during a special event, Venus passing in front of the Sun. Why observe the Moon during this event? Scientists used it as a massive mirror to detect subtle variations caused by sunlight scattering through Venus's atmosphere. These variations reveal details about the atmosphere's chemical composition. Although Venus's atmospheric composition is already well known, this experiment tested whether the light scattering method produces accurate results. Hubble frequently applies this technique to study exoplanet atmospheres by observing distant stars as planets transit in front of them. Since the Sun is too bright for Hubble to observe directly, Using the moon as a reflector enabled scientists to obtain the data they needed. While capturing the entirety of the moon poses challenges for Hubble, the same is not true for Mars. Hubble often observes Mars, offering a full view of the planet, something orbiting spacecraft can't always achieve. These images provide valuable insights into dust storms, seasonal changes, and other weather phenomena. Such information is crucial for planning rover operations and building a comprehensive understanding of Martian weather for future predictions. In one time lapse, a global dust storm envelops the planet, obscuring surface features. 
Mars's two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, can be seen zipping around the planet in the background. Their rapid motion is especially noticeable in the 42-minute sequence. Another time lapse focuses on Phobos, the larger and closer of Mars's moons, showing its movement over just 22 minutes. Phobos completes an orbit around Mars in only 7.5 hours, making it the only moon in the solar system to orbit faster than its planet's day. As we leave the inner planets behind and approach the first of the gas giants, we encounter the asteroid belt, a fascinating region filled with objects worth studying. Among them is the curious asteroid 64778 GT, a misleadingly named celestial body that has captured Hubble's attention. You might be surprised to learn that this object, which clearly resembles a comet with its twin tails, is actually an asteroid. Known as GT, this asteroid resides in the asteroid belt and was imaged in 2019. So why does it have a tail? Scientists believe the answer lies in a phenomenon called the YORP effect. Solar radiation exerts a small but steady force on irregularly shaped bodies, and under the right conditions, this can gradually increase their rotation speed. In GT's case, its 3.5 kilometer wide body has been spinning faster over time and now completes one rotation every two hours the upper limit of what an asteroid can endure. This rapid rotation generates centrifugal forces that are stronger than the asteroid's gravity, causing loose material to be ejected into space. These ejections form the tails, and over time, GT will likely disintegrate entirely. Like many other asteroids and comets, GT isn't a solid rock, but a fragile rubble pile held together by weak gravitational forces. The asteroid belt, with its chaotic population of 1 to 2 million asteroids larger than a kilometer and countless smaller ones, is a dynamic region. To illustrate this, let's examine P2010A2. At first glance, it appears to be a typical comet. However, a closer look at its nucleus reveals an unusual filamentary structure. Surprisingly, this is not the comet's nucleus. It isn't even a comet. What we're seeing is an extraordinarily rare event, a collision between two asteroids. The X-shaped structure near the nucleus consists of debris from the impact, with rubble being ejected in four directions. Some of this material is pulled back toward the center of mass by the faint gravitational pull, while particles in the tail have escaped entirely. Despite the occasional chaos, most asteroids in the belt follow relatively stable circular orbits around the Sun. But if an asteroid strays too far from this path, as comets do, it risks encountering a far more powerful gravitational force, Jupiter. Often called the solar system's vacuum cleaner, Jupiter is a dominant force in this region. Its immense mass accounts for nearly three-fourths of all the matter in the solar system outside the Sun, giving it a gravitational influence that shapes the fate of nearby objects. A striking example of this occurred in 1994, when the two-kilometer-wide comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 ventured too close to Jupiter. The planet's gravity not only captured the comet, but also tore it apart, breaking it into several fragments. By the time the fragments impacted Jupiter, they were already scattered marking the first ever direct observation of an extraterrestrial collision. Interestingly, Shoemaker-Levy 9 had been captured by Jupiter roughly two decades earlier and orbited as an active comet, a phenomenon also observed for the first time. However, its orbit eventually brought it perilously close to Jupiter's surface. The resulting tidal forces shredded the comet, and just a year later, its fragments collided with Jupiter at an astonishing speed of 60 kilometers per second, over 210,000 kilometers per hour. The impacts on Jupiter generated fireballs reaching temperatures of over 23,000 degrees Celsius, soaring an astonishing 3,000 kilometers above the planet's limb. The most significant impact left a dark spot spanning 12,000 kilometers, roughly the size of Earth and unleashed energy equivalent to 6 million megatons of TNT, 
more than 600 times the power of the world's combined nuclear arsenal. Hubble continues to observe Jupiter and many other celestial objects, revealing new discoveries and expanding our understanding of the cosmos. From detecting exoplanets to studying distant galaxies, Hubble's contributions remain invaluable. With proper care, it could continue operating until 2040, potentially outliving even its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. As we look to the future, one thing remains certain. Hubble has been seeing things it was never meant to see, and its legacy will endure for generations to come. Conclusion Over the past 34 years, the Hubble Space Telescope has far exceeded its original mission, revealing hidden wonders within our own solar system. From studying planetary atmospheres and asteroid collisions to capturing cosmic impacts and tracking potential habitats for life, Hubble's observations have reshaped our understanding of our celestial neighborhood. Though it was never designed to focus on these nearby objects, its contributions to solar system exploration have been nothing short of groundbreaking. As Hubble continues its journey, its legacy as one of the most important scientific instruments in history remains secure.